Hi everyone. In this video, I will walk you through a exercise in Excel that will show you how you can figure out the amount that you need to save in order to cover your kids education expenses. So maybe you're thinking about sending your kids to college. Maybe one of your kids is going to go to college in 15 years. Another is going to go there in like 17 or 18 years. And you have a sense of what their expected college expenses will be. And so the question is, can you start saving today, which you should, but then more importantly, how much should you save today or start saving on a regular basis today so that you can cover those education expenses when the time comes? And so this exercise will help you figure that out. So let's suppose you have two children. They're two years apart. One will begin college 15 years from today and the other will begin 17 years from today. And you want to start saving for their college education. You estimate college expenses to be $76,000 per year per child payable at the beginning of each school year. So when the school year is going to start, that is when you're going to deposit $76,000 for the entire year. The appropriate interest rate is 7.8%. So let's suppose that if you start investing your money today, on average, you can earn about 7.8% on an annual basis. So this is APR. Your deposits begin one year from today. Okay, so you're going to start depositing one year from now you will make your last deposit when your oldest child enters college. So your oldest child is going to enter college 15 years from today. So we're assuming that you're going to make your last deposit when that happens and assume four years of college. OK, that's reasonable. The question is, how much money must you deposit in an account, which earns 7.8 percent on an annual basis each year to fund your children's education. So one thing that I always recommend you do is to draw out your timeline. And so here's what your timeline is looking like. Your eldest child is going to start college 15 years from today. So this is today, 15 years from now, this is the end of the 15th year. That is when your eldest child will enter college. And that is when you will deposit your first $76,000 for the first year of their college. You're going to do the same for the second year, the third year and the fourth year. So there's a series of $76,000 that you're going to pay. Notice that the first $76,000 goes at the beginning of your eldest kids first year of college. And so this is the beginning of the second year, beginning of the third year, beginning of the fourth year. Now, it so happens that 17 years from today, your youngest child starts going to college and you pay the first $76,000 at the end of the 17th year. That is their first year of college. And then you have to make four such payments as well. And so basically, these are the series of cash outflows that you are expecting 15 years from now and 17 years from now, respectively. Now, the question is, how much do you deposit at the end of the first year, at the end of the second year, at the end of the third year, all the way out till the end of the 14th year and at the end of the 15th year? This is the last deposit that you're going to make such that by this time you have enough to make these withdrawals for both your first kid and your second kid, knowing that when you start investing money earlier, it's going to earn 7.8% interest over time. Now, this is what you do to figure this out. First, determine what's the present value of these $76,000 that you're going to pay for your youngest kid. In other words, how much money do you need by the end of the 16th year so that you can make these outflows for the next four years? This is a very simple exercise in present value calculation. You're interested in the present value of this four year annuity, essentially. So present value, the interest rate is going to be 0.078, which is 7.8%. The number of time periods is four because it's a four year annuity. The payment that you're making is $76,000. I'm entering this with a negative sign. The rest doesn't matter. So you will need $252,846.33 at the end of the 16th year. 
you can do the exact same math for your eldest kid. In other words, ask yourself, how much do you need at the end of the 14th year so that you can support these cash outflows? Actually, the answer is going to be identical, right? You will need $252,846.33 for your eldest kid as well, except you will need that amount at the end of the 14th year. And so that's exactly the calculation I do here and find out 252,846.33. Now, the next question to ask yourself is, okay, what is the present value of this 252,846 at time period zero and of this 252,846.33 here? What you're essentially asking yourself is that if you had some lump sum money to put into the bank today at 7.8%, how much money would you need to put in today to get this amount 14 years from now and this amount 16 years from now? This is an exercise also in present value calculation. You'll do present value. The interest rate is 0 0.078, that's fine. But the number of time periods, be careful, this present value is at the end of the 14th year. So time period is 14. There is no payment, no constant amount that is being paid out, but there is this future value of 252,846.33. And so this means that the present value is 88,347.45. Put differently, if you had $88,347 today, you could put it in the bank, 14 years from now, you will have this amount, which will be enough to support $76,000 over the next four years. Pretty cool, huh? You will do the exact same math to determine the present value of this guy. So 0 0.078. The only difference is that the number of time periods now is going to be 16. So you're going to have more years to get to this number, which means that you need to deposit something less today. And sure enough, when you do negative and this guy, only $76,025. So if somebody asks you, okay, what is the total amount that you need today to support the college education of both your kids? Now you say, well, I just sum up these numbers. And so sure enough, the total amount that you need today is 164,372.46. If you had this lump sum money and you put it in the bank, this would be enough to support your kid's education. But that is not the question. The question is, how much do you need to deposit in the bank over the next 15 years? Well, it better be the case that the present value of that annuity is exactly equal to the lump sum amount that you need today. What I mean by that is essentially you wanna figure out the payment that you need to do on a regular basis for the next 15 years such that you get this present value. And so you will enter for a rate 0 0.078. Notice that now I'm trying to figure out the payment. The number of time periods is 15. What is the amount in the present? The amount in the present that I need essentially is 164,372. And now when you close these parentheses and solve, you get $18,970, and that is the amount that you need to deposit in the bank on an annual basis for the next 15 years. And if the bank is earning 7.8% or the investment is yielding 7.8%, you'll be able to support your kid's education. And so this is how you can figure out how much you need to save on a regular basis to support your kid's education. You may have two kids, you may have five, and you may have different expectations about the college expenses for your different kids, but the math is effectively the same. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.